Ada, my name is Chris. I own a Rick's Nest estate. We farm just a little under 4,000 acres, uh, ranging from wheat, barley, oilseed rape, and beans. Uh, this is my sprayer, it's a Horse Lee PT270. Um, probably one of the top sprayers on the market at the minute. Um, she's an 8,000 litre tank with 36 metre booms. Best bits about the horse is the technology. The, the Germans just seem to put so much effort into making it the most easiest for the operator to control in terms of the boom technology and nozzle technology. On your boom technology, you have got six sensors across the boom and the boom can pivot halfway down, therefore giving you better boom height control along undulated ground. And on your nozzle technology, you can have anywhere from one to four nozzles running at one time and you can automatically change nozzles on the move to reduce your pressures going up and down the field. Uh, one of the top tips will be going paperless. So we have now incorporated an iPad into the sprayer for doing all of our record keepings, um, which is far easier. You don't have to rummage through paperwork to try and find where you're going. It's all automated and done automatically. Once you've preset your weather conditions and wind speeds that's automatically saved for the day unless you need to alter them. Um, also we use the iPad calendar to jot down as a secondary precaution all the times we started spraying and what we're spraying and also take pictures of the cans and the chemical of the labels so that we know through records what we've been spraying. The point of keeping the photos on the iPad is that you don't have to tear the labels off the cans and have labels stored in every little nook and cranny that you've got. It's much easier, it's all on there and then it can be transferred onto the computer and stored on there as well. Another piece of machinery that we use on the yard is the Yara N sensor. The technology is designed to read the crop in real time to decipher how much nitrogen the plant needs, requires and has at the minute. Therefore, this alleviates the overdosing on certain areas and cost savings. So what the end sensor does is it, re it sends a laser beam to the crop and reads the green matter on the leaf, which then sends a signal back to the end sensor, which then determines the amount of nitrogen that the plant can take at the time. Now, another top tip would be the chemical can drainer and bag holders in the workshop. Simple designs, but there to completely drain residue chemical out of your cans and a bag holder to hold a bag open for quick filling. The, the manifold system that we put on our fertiliser tanks, we had, when we first installed the tanks, we were having to change pipe from tank to tank, having spillage of chemical and downtime. So we come up with this design and had made a complete manifold system which links all four tanks together with one outlet so that you don't have to keep climbing in and out the bun for health and safety reasons. So all you've got to do is climb in once, open the tap and all use the taps on the external side to open and shut. We had a Bowser developed by Bailey to help with the quick turnaround times of fertiliser in the fields. This has dramatically improved our output and our liquid fertiliser system by double. So here we have an optional extra that was fitted at the time of purchasing the machine. It's a reverse osmosis system, which when you dump the spraying at the end, it reverses the drive and blows chemicals through the filter to clean the filter and sends any residue or products back into the basket at the top of the tank. I was nominated by the team here at Rook's Nest. Uh, I had no idea I was in it. Um, they thought they'd put me in it just to see how I performed against other people out there. And a bit of a shocker that I've made it down to the final six.